Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Sunday School. I'm so happy that you've taken time out to be with me in this way uh, so that we can continue our studies, even though we can't be together in person right now. But I'm praying that soon we'll have that time when we can come together again. Today, our lesson comes from 1 Samuel. That means the first book of Samuel, chapter 3, verses 1 to 10 is what we're really going to focus on. But I would invite you to read with your parents also verses 11 to 20. So look in your Old Testament part of the Bible and look for the book called 1 Samuel. There'll be a one in the front and then there'll be Samuel because there are two books of Samuel, chapter 3, verses 1 to 10. And this is about listening and being good listeners. And you know, sometimes when you know you're not supposed to, let's say, touch the stove because it's hot, and maybe you might be passing by the stove and you think, oh, I think I'm, I might want to touch it. But then you hear your mom's voice or your dad's voice or grandma's voice. You hear that voice in your head that says, remember, that's hot, don't touch it. Well, that's what our story is like today with Samuel, who's living in the te temple with Eli, and he hears a voice calling his name, but he thinks that it's Eli, the prophet. But so he keeps running to Eli, and Eli says, no, it's not him. So I want you to think about those, that, that listening, listening for a voice that is calling you to do something that is right and good. But first, I want to remind us that God's love is like this water that is poured out over all of creation. It goes through the rocks, through the soil, wherever we are, God's love can reach us, just like this water can reach into the deepest parts of the earth. And we have the light of the candle that reminds us that Jesus, God's son, was a gift to us to light our way, to remind us to shine brightly even when it feels dark. Listen now to the story of Samuel. Now Samuel, he slipped under the warm covers after he had checked that the lamp was burning and that the priest Eli was fast asleep. And Samuel, he closed his eyes because he had been helping Eli in the sanctuary all day. And he knew, he remembered how his mother had prayed to have a baby. And after a long time, she was able to have a baby. She called him Samuel. And because she had prayed for so long, she felt like Samuel was the gift from God to her. And so she dedicated Samuel, her little boy's life, to God so that he might serve him and help him. And so that's how Samuel came to be living with Eli in the temple. So now Samuel, he went fast asleep after he was sure that the priest Eli was tucked in tight. And as he slept, all snuggled up, he heard a voice saying, Samuel, Samuel. Well, Samuel, he peeked from under the covers and then he slowly opened his eyes, but he didn't see anybody. There was, there was no one there. Well, he thought it must have been Eli. So Samuel got up and he went to where Eli was sleeping and he said, here I am, Eli, you called me. Eli, he grumbled a bit and he said, I, I didn't call you, my child. Go, lay down again. So Samuel, he went back to his bed and he pulled up the covers quickly and he went back to sleep. And again, the voice woke him. Samuel. Samuel, Samuel peeked from under his covers and he slowly looked around, but there was no one there. 
So he got up and he went to Eli again. And he said, here I am, Eli, you called me. Eli said, no, no, I did not call you, my son. Go lay down again. So off to his bed went Samuel and back to sleep. And as soon as he was asleep, sure enough, Samuel, Samuel. Slowly, Samuel got up and he went to Eli one more time. This was the third time. Here I am, Eli, you called me. This time, Eli sat up in his bed and he looked and he said, no, I didn't call you, Samuel. I think God is calling you. Now you go lay down and if you hear that voice again, say, speak, God, for your servant is listening. So Samuel, he did just like Eli told him. He went back, but Samuel, he, he just couldn't go back to sleep. His ears were wide awake. And then he heard the voice said, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel replied, speak, God. Your servant is listening. So then God gave Samuel a message to give to Eli, the priest. And then, as it turned out, God had special work for Samuel. Samuel would be a prophet and he would give messages to God's people. And Samuel would help the people follow God's way once again. Wow, what a story, huh? There he was, little Samuel, a little boy, just like you, my friends, a little child, and he heard this voice, just like you, when you're about to do something that you know might not be a good choice, you can hear your mommy or your daddy saying, no, no, you shouldn't touch that. No, no, remember, wait for mommy at the edge of the parking lot. Don't go out into the parking lot. Wait at the edge of the sidewalk. You hear that voice. And those voices that help us to make good choices could be the voice of God leading you. Just like Samuel thought he heard Eli calling and Eli said, no, I wasn't calling. It turned out God was speaking to him and he had things for him to do. So you have a chance, my friends. When you see a friend not being kind to another friend, you hear that voice saying, oh, that's not the right thing to do. We should be nice. We should share with one another. And you can be just like Samuel, that messenger of God's good word of the right thing to do. Let us pray together. Oh God, you called Samuel to share your message of love. Thank you, God, for calling us to be your helpers too. Help us to listen. And as we listen, help us to make the right choices. Amen.